Hi everyone, I'm Cinder 9 and welcome to my new LP, this of Crystal Story 2. I'm playing this on Congregate, and what caught my attention was the description of the game. I mean, it's got really good ratings, a really good, a really good rating by those that have played it. Crystal Story 2 is a turn-based RPG. I like RPGs, so okay. You've got my attention. That follows the story of a young dragon on his quest to defeat an evil witch. Wait. We get the dragon? The party. The main character's a dragon. I'm a big fan of dragons for those of you that are new to the jan channel just watching this, this LP. I'm a huge fan of dragons. I love dragons. But in games, typically the dragon is the bad guy, which makes me sad. There's not enough dragons that are good guys. And the fact that there is one here, I'm at least going to try this game because, like I said, huge fan of dragons. So let's get this story started. Witch escaped from imprisonment with the help of her two minions. Powerful and wicked, Rita stole the crystal of power from the kingdom of Crystalia and used it to resurrect a terrible creature known as a Dargon. <laughs> Fortunately, a brave man by the name of Hero, along with his trusty companions, set off on a perilous journey to foil her evil plan. With sheer wit and cunning, Hero single-handedly slew the Dargon while his companions cheered him on. Rita escaped and was never seen again. The Crystal of Power was returned and peace was restored. The world was once again safe. Until the sky shattered. That landing was rough. Does not help when you have a tail, either. No time to think about it. I have to get moving. So, I'm assuming this is our dragon. I kind of see some scales here. Tail. Very cool. Kind of in a human-type form for the most part. That's okay with me. I've done a Breath of Fire LP. My first LP, actually. So that's okay with me how this is. And I love dragons so much. I'm going to name the, I guess, our main character. After me, I've been waiting to have a <laughs> dragon main, main character for a while. So already enjoying this game. <laughs> okay, the music sounds better. I've actually recorded this first episode once already give you a little bit of behind the scenes already for those of you that are near the channel to kind of get a a feel for your your commentator here i've already recorded this once the music was way too loud it overpowered everything it, it started at an eight i believe so I've, I've toned it down to five i hope that's better I just didn't think you all out there watching would like it because really the music overpowered everything. The voice is still a little light. I wish I could have even more voice volume. It just seemed the voices are light compared to everything else even with the voice volume at full. But uh, we'll, we'll deal with that. Excuse me. We'll deal with that. And I turned down the sound effect volume as well. It was kind of overpowering so Hopefully the music will be 
the, the music quality will be better this recording. Yeah, I got no problems recording it again to put out a quality experience for all of you. Uh, mesh speed normal, it's fine. Quality, the quality of the, the look. There you go. So you can see it. Low, medium, high. Camera static, I'm just going to keep that the way it is. And we'll enter the small forest. There are three ways to move your character. With the mouse, you can click on the ground to tell you to tell where you want the character to move. You could use the arrow keys to move around, or you can use WASD. Uh, over here, we have the mini map, where you see the area map in your current location. You can click the actual map here to expand the map to fully see the entire area. This button will be save, save the game anytime, so no save points, that's nice. You can just save when you need to. And the menu, the backpack. Here you can access items, hero status, game options, and other things. Treasure chest, contain useful items to help you on your journey. Move toward the chest to grab the item inside, so all you have to do is bump into the chest. If you bump into a enemy, however, you directly engage them in battle. So you can avoid them. Small forest. Okay, this looks like the, the way out. But we don't want to go that way because we just got here. <laughs> It'd be the way back onto the map, but not the way to proceed. And our first enemy. So let's get into our first fight. All right. Uh, choose an action for Syndrome. Perform an attack that damages an enemy. Choose a skill to cast. Use an item. Or skip, delay your turn. Okay, so attack. We have one skill. Fire attack. Use this attack damage to deal fire damage to an enemy. All right, nice. Cost four MP. We have twenty. Start with heal potion one. Oh, by the way, something else I want to point out. I'm starting this about two weeks after the. Sorry, it's completely blanked out. I'm starting this about two weeks after the release of the game on Congregate. And I assume the, just the release overall. I believe it started here. And there have been a lot of changes, a lot of updates to this game since then. I've kind of kept track of it. And they all seem for the better. Things were added. Things were tweaked. Uh, j just a lot of changes, which is good. I like that Game just not out there and standing pat so I give credit a lot of credit to the creators for doing that keeping updated listening to the opinions listening to uh, the, the fan base that they that they're creating to try to make the game better. I think that's really really good of them to do and really appreciate it So with that being said, like I said, it's about two weeks after release, so there may be even more changes as the game goes along, and I'll try to keep updated on those changes if anything major happens throughout the LP. I'll I'll bring that up. So if you're watching this six months down the road, and oh well, it's this way. Why did you say that you get five percent of your MP back every battle, which you do now, by the way? You get 10% now, or something. You know, you get 10%, you're wrong. Well, when I'm playing this, it was 5%. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there for future, future watchers. Alright, enough of that. <laughs> Let's get fighting, 41. Up here's the HP. Ow, take 20. Bye, slime. I like the happy face slime. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Get excited! First, <laughs> I see. first, first kill. Nice. That's that's funny. Well played. Fifteen gold for SP. We'll find out what SP is a little later. The game will go over it, so I'll hold back on that. Heal potion one. Uh, other than this first episode, this LP is completely blind. I've not played this before. Like I said, I'm just re-recording this first episode to try to get sound volume 
and things like that, right? So, it sounds good for all of you listening. Hit! And go, quick enough to go again. Nice. Yeah! <laughs> I like the victory pose that I have. That's really cool. <laughs> this just goes in a, in a square. Over here's the mini-map. Very handy. I like that there's a mini-map. There you can kind of full screen it if you need to, which is also nice. I like having both options. And you look like a boss. Ready? Gargantuan. Yeah, I am ready. 300 HP. So let's go ahead and try out our one skill that we have. Fire attack. 78, not bad. Okay, let's do it again. He went nice. I, I, I like the, the battle screams. That's cool. Won't hold back. Ha! 59. One more should do it. Uh, just to be thorough, how much does a regular attack do? 43. Okay. Bye, Gargantuan. Hundred and fifty gold, twenty-six SP, and plate one. Every time you defeat an enemy, you will gain SP and gold. Sometimes they also drop items and equipment. You can view the things you have collected by accessing the menu. You can access the menu by clicking on the bag icon. In the menu screen, all of the characters in your party will be displayed. Each of them will have accessible SP and equipment menu and accessible SP and equip menu, sorry. SP. Here, you can learn skills and abilities using the SP menu. Access this every time you want to spend your SP. Equip. Here, you can equip weapons and armor for each character to make them stronger. So let's look at the menu now. Uh, help items, a bestiary, nice. Earth slime, the slimes we fought. Skills, earth one. 54 HP, 12 attack, 13 magic, 22 speed. Okay. Oh, here's some elements. Oh, they're weak to fire. So they take a lot of damage from from a fire slash. Not that it's really needed. Uh, strong versus resist versus. I think so. I think I'm reading that right. Earth zero. It is an earth slime. So it takes no damage from earth attacks. Makes sense. Well, it's really nice. I gotta say. We have 34 SP. This is locked, unfortunately, but you have skill trees. I know one out of the 34... Or, was it? 34? Sorry, 24 skills in this tree, which is fire attack. Uh, as you can see... Here's the SP cost, so 25, and what you get. So if we learn this right here, we get uh, plus three attack. So attack will go from 40 to 43, and go down the tree. You get different things. Here's magic plus five. Oh, this is a combination. That's nice. Or maybe you get one or the other. Choose to learn. Yeah, you get one or the other. So you get 19 HP or three attack. That's nice. You get a choice to customize the character. I like that. That's nice. So let's go ahead and spend SP. Show this off. Plus three attack. There you go. See? Attack went from 40 to 43. And it looks like we're going to have more than one skill tree. This is locked for now. That's cool. I'm a big fan of skill trees. And to have the little customizations in there is also a nice, a nice, uh, a nice touch. I enjoy that. Let's go ahead and equip armor. We got plate one. As you see over here, it's green, which means it goes up. So 150 to 200 HP. So if we equip it, like so, now I have 200 HP. Yay! All right. Uh, we also have the heal potions. We'll go ahead and use one. 
get some HP back, and we'll move on. That's it for Small Forest. And from Small Forest, we go to Medium Forest. <laughs> I wonder if we'll find a large forest somewhere. Go ahead and save. As I said, here's the first file with the music really high. We'll go ahead and save. What is with this place? Why does everything want to kill me? <laughs> Says the guy who looks like a monster. Huh? Don't worry. I'm not here to kill you. <laughs> what? Who is there? Hello. Hey, you fight pretty good for a meteorite. Meteorite? I am no meteor. I'm a dragon. And my name is Syndral. Ah. Syndral? That's an interesting name. You're not from around here, are you? That is not important. I need to find the oracle right away. What's an oracle? Well, you know, it is like a... Uh, uh, looks like a... You don't know. Hmm. And let me guess, you also don't know where you're going. No. Well, Mr. Meteor, I'm heading to the nearest town after I finish my quest. You can tag along and help me. We can go around town afterwards and ask about around about your oracle. Sounds reasonable. Great! After all, two swords are better than one. I suppose. By the way, pleasure to meet you. My name is... Hey, here, you can put in a name of the character. We'll stick with Lena. We'll stick with the names of the characters from here on out. Medium forest. Hi! This enemy decided to charge at us. Uh, Lena is a thief. As I said, thief. <laughs> I expect her to become pretty quick. Honestly, to have a lot of speed. Uh, let's swing at you. And we'll get rid of one of you. Looks like she has a dagger. I uh, like the uppercut motion. That's nice. I like the attack animations. They're 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 pretty well done. I gotta say. And uppercut. There's another one. Nice. I like that. Yay! Cheer! <laughs> Victory pose. Got a grenade. Okay. 89 gold, 12 SP, and one heal potion. One second. Okay. A cure potion. Which removes all negative status effects. Nice. <clears throat> By the way, Lena came with as much SP as as we had gotten throughout this adventure. I've spent 25, so she came with with 25 more, which is nice. That's really good. So we'll have her learn a skill, plus 20 HP. That'll definitely help our thief out. Go from 130 to 150. There we go. Uh, like I guessed, a lot of speed. <laughs> She's a thief. Okay. She knows one skill right now, and that's Burst. Throw a level one Burst, which is the grenade we just got. So, I can't use grenades, but she can. She has the skill to. Luckily, it takes no MP. You just have to have the items to do so. See, it's not even here. Oops. It's under Burst, because she's the one that throws them. She has the skill to. But don't really need to do that. Victory! Easy enough. 15 gold, 4 SP. Which does give her... Uh, again, the wrong button. Oh well, we'll do the fight first. It gave her enough SP to get more HP. Which I would like for her to have. 
Oh, I actually saved the SP, now that I think about it. Take out the Earth Slime. And what are you? A uh, Goblin, okay. And now the Goblin goes. 52 gold, 8 SP. See what else we can find in this forest. Other than more enemies. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, let's take out... Because the slimes seem to hurt more than the goblins. The goblins just have a little more HP. We'll take out one of the slimes. Now the other slime. Okay. And lastly, the goblin. Uh, upward slash, I like that. A heal potion, 67 gold and 12 SP. So pretty standard right now. Revive. I assume it does what it says it does. Revives the hero and restores 25% of HP. Okay. Uh, pretty standard for an RPG right now. Going around, grabbing some treasures, beginning fights. You know, the usual. We have an ant here, a new enemy. Now we'll take care of the goblin. That'll be it for this battle. I guess it plays pretty well so far. We have a time bar over here to win, to show when characters are going. Uh, scrap metal used to upgrade equipment. Okay, so we can upgrade our equipment. That's good. 56 gold, 8 SP. Okay, and that takes us back to the beginning. Good. Uh, a few options in combat right now. Of course, we'll get a lot more as we learn skills. More enemies. Yeah, so, time bar, HP, MP. Pretty standard RPG fare. But I'm not saying that's a bad thing. You know... When, when you can already feel a little bit familiar with how the combat is going to go, that really helps. That's it. I'm a big fan of RPGs, so right, it, it feels nice right now. Like I say, it uh, feels pretty solid. A slug. A bottled sticky slug. Huh. Maybe we can sell it later or something. 52 gold, 8 SP, and a grenade. Another grenade. More enemies. We'll fight them all for gold and... Let's kill the slime. For golden items. Okay, we'll take the int that would get a swing in. Take him out. After reaching half HP, it looks like the numbers turn turn yellow that's good an indication that you're you're below half you need to watch your hp grenade 53 gold and 12 sp let's see what's up here another int just one of them though ah uh, he got to go really quick <laughs> poison ow status effect uh two damage from the poison okay ah critical Nice. A root. A dried poisonous root. Well, now we get a poison root. So that makes sense. Now that we know they can poison. 19 gold, 4 SP. Oh. Hi. Looks like enemies respawn. Kill. Or maybe I just entered these places and didn't. Didn't wipe them out. 32 gold for SP. 
Oh, yeah, okay. Kind of random on the enemies. That's good. Ah, oh, perfect. Now there ain't nobodies that can pass through here without the permission of Murder Incorporated. Hey! Hey! That's a nice boulder there! What you doing with it? Oh, hey! I was just setting up this large rock so it'll block the path to up into town. Then, I can charge people who want to pass through! Pretty nifty, huh? Sure is! Ah, oh, Syndral! I just found my quest! Ah, oh, great. What is it now? Another slime... Ah! What is that? How are you surprised? Aren't you a dragon? Yeah, but that is a nine foot tall cow monster thing with a club! Plus, I just landed, don't got all my skills yet, you know, still kinda... Still kinda hazy. It was a really hard fall. Hey, I ain't no cow! I'm here for my payday, and I'm looking right at it. Wait, you with Mercenary Incorporated? Or Inc? I assume it stands for Incorporated. You ain't gonna stop us. Small Town will be ours. I like the descriptive names. It was Small Force, Medium Force, and now it's Small Town. You know, it kind of tells you what it is. <laughs> Very descriptive names. Alright, Mr. Meteor, let's finish this quick. There's the boss, but there's other places to look, so before we fight the boss... Hey, treasure chest. Gauntlets 1. These give a boost to attack power. So, we have the red number, because I'll be taking off the plate, but... It adds 20 to attack power, which is really nice. So we'll go ahead and equip that. And we'll give the plate to Lena. There we go. Since we got a boss, we'll go ahead and heal up. And see if we can't find an enemy. There we go. Perfect. So you can see the difference in attack power now. So we'll have Lena attack the Int, and I'll swing at the Slon. Oh, she resisted the poison! Nice! Okay. There, take 64. So you see, now I can one-shot the, the Slimes. Uh, one heal potion, 8 SP, 34 gold, and a grenade. Okay, now, let's go take on this nine-foot-tall cow monster with a giant club thing, whose name is Rock. 210 HP? Ha! Huh, you don't really scare us. Let's try this grenade. 57, not bad. Alright. We got that extra attack power, 66. Oh. One more grenade. Just 30 HP left? <laughs> Sorry, you're done. Or not. As you can see, there was a little heart over here. After we got through the first HP bar, the heart disappeared. Now he has a full 270 HP, which is more. And his expression has changed. He's probably stronger as well. I like that. I assume later bosses will even get some additional attacks or additional tricks up their sleeve. Here I go. Fire attack! 96. So I like that the bosses change. That's cool. Ah. Uh, stun status effect. She won't move on the time bar for a little while. Unfortunately for Rock, I'm gonna end this fight. Go. Fire attack! No sweat. <laughs> I agree. 150 gold, 24 SP. Duh. This ain't over. Wow, for a big guy, he sure does run fast. 
Is it over? Looks like it. Time to head back to town. Great. Maybe now I can find my way to the Oracle. And next is Small Town. But, gonna go ahead and save. And hopefully, I said the sound will be better. <laughs> if not, I'll record this again. But, it's been 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I really hope you enjoyed this first look at Crystal Story 2. I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. We'll see just how more in-depth it goes. I like the fact that there's skill trees, the battle system is really solid. We have two characters right now. So it's a, a, a really good start, I gotta say that. So, until the next episode, again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, had a lot of fun. I'm Cinder 9 remember to shoot for the stars, and take care everyone.